Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's video, I'm taking a closer look at the Aqualung Plasma Mask, but not just the regular Plasma Mask. This is the Amber Glass version. It's got a special tint to it that helps to reduce the glare and also boost the reds when you're under the water. Let's take a closer look. Okay, so this is how it arrives. It, uh, it has its own protective box um, and it is quite a nice box compared to a lot of the more standard uh, sort of mask boxes that you get. Rigid plastic, so it's gonna protect itself. It's not quite as big or bulky as, uh, as a lot of the other traditional styles. Um, nothing too fancy on the outside, but it's a uh, sort of a clamshell design, so it opens out. Um, then you get the mask itself. Um, you also get uh, just instructions for your mask and the uh, and the warranty uh, so just have a quick read through that when you first get it a, uh, a non-adhesive sticker telling you not to jump face first into the water uh, and then your mask itself so let's take a closer look Right, so the mask itself is a frameless mask, meaning that there isn't a big bulky plastic frame holding all of the components together. The actual silicone skirt is over molded onto the glass and, and that's it. So it means that the glass lens can actually be a little bit closer to your eyes, which increases your field of vision, reduces the internal volume as well, so it doesn't squeeze quite as much. And when you're having to clear the water out of it, it's a lot quicker and easier. Now, the main difference to this compared to the regular plasma is in this tempered glass lens. Now, the regular plasma mask still has tempered glass, but this has this amber coating. Uh, and as you can see, it gives an ever so slight um, sort of change in effect and what it's doing is it's helping to reduce glare on the surface. So when you've got the bright sun beaming down on you and it's reflecting off the waves, that can be a bit intense at times, especially around the tropics. This is going to help to cut that down. Now, this isn't polarized and it isn't uh, sort of cutting out specific wavelengths or anything. It's not acting as uh, sort of special sunglasses, but it is helping to reduce that glare. And when you actually get under the water, that kind of amber tint, it helps to boost the reds back up to what they actually look like. So you get a bit more of a, a vivid experience when you're under the water. Now, single lens, so you have glass over the top, over the bridge of your nose, um, and that's letting plenty of light coming in. Nose pocket, decent sized nose pocket on this, um, and soft silicone as well, and uh, plenty of access so that you can equalize even if you're wearing gloves. On the side, now the buckles themselves, they attach onto the skirt of the mask. So instead of having multiple hinged mechanisms to allow this buckle to move around, it's just that soft silicone which just allows it to sit in whatever position you want it to be. And also when you're folding it away, it folds down almost flat. So it's very neat and very easy to, uh, to tuck away somewhere. Buckle itself, very easy to use. You have a single button, and as you uh, as you push that, you can kind of see that this uh, little sort of lever just pops up. So even if you've got clunky gloves, it's still easy to adjust. Pull on that strap, one-way ratchet strap, just tightens the strap, and then press on that button, and that lengthens it off. Strap itself has a, uh, a nice sort of classic design. You have that wide section and then the circle is gonna cradle the back of your head really effectively. And then you have these tabs at the top and the bottom just to adjust it quickly. On the inside of the mask, you'll see we have a second internal skirt. So you have the external seal and then this internal seal, which creates a really wide sealing area all the way around your face. And you have both matte and glossy sections, so it's nice and comfortable and it does create a really effective grip. Over the top, around your temple and around your cheekbones, you have this detailing here. Now, what this is doing is this is adding a little bit of rigidity and uh, sort of strength and shape to the skirt, but it also gives you something to hold on to when you're actually equalizing and just adjusting your mask. So that's what that kind of detailing is there for. Right, so let's review this mask. So we look at masks on four different categories and then the fifth overall. So we're looking at the field of view, how well you can see, looking at the comfort as well, the extras that come with the mask, and of course the cost and then that general overall. So starting off out of five, looking at the field of view, I gave this a four out of five. So 
it's pretty good. It's a fairly standard mask field of view. If you do look out to the sides, you are gonna see that mask skirt. And because the amber glass version is only available at the moment with a black skirt, it can feel a bit limiting if you don't like that sort of black sort of skirt around the side. But I did give this four out of five because with that amber tint, it is actually improving your sort of clarity on the surface because it's cutting out the, the glare that you get from, uh, from the light bouncing off the surface. So it's a lot better than just a traditional blank lens. And it's also sort of boosting those colors underwater. So yeah, I gave it four out of five, which is a good score for it. Then onto the comfort of the mask, pretty comfortable. Um, I, again, I gave it four out of five. It's um, it's sealed very comfortably. The silicone is a nice quality. The only reason it didn't get five is because there are masks out there that that, that do have like different grade silicones on different parts, which give you a really soft skirt that molds to sort of any faces. Um, but actually, yeah, this is one of the nicer mask skirts out there. So it still gets four out of five. Onto the extras, um, three out of five, you get the box and that's about it. Um, the main selling point uh, or the main set of extra on this mask over and above any others is gonna be in that tinted lens because most masks don't have any kind of tint to them. Uh, and then at cost, it sits at a incredible price point. I gave it five out of five for, uh, for the cost in that it's priced uh, kind of very mid range where a lot of the other masks in this price range have no kind of uh, sort of lens tinting or lens effect. So you're getting a lot of uh, sort of mask for what you pay. Um, so yeah, if you're in the market for a mask, then yeah, I'd definitely be looking in this kind of price range. But also if you compare it to other masks in this price range, you're not getting any kind of fancy lens, you're just getting tempered glass, but in the uh, the, in the phaser, the AG, yeah, you're getting that tinted lens as well, so definitely worth checking it out. So an overall score, it got eight out of 10, which is a fantastic score. Um, yeah, it's a nice mask. Okay, so that was the Aqualung Phaser AG mask. A good all-rounder, it's got that special tinted lens, which is gonna help reduce glare on the surface, so it's kind of protecting your eyes a bit, and then the, the sun bouncing off the the waves is going to be less obtrusive. It's also boosting some of the reds when you're under the water, so it's a bit more vivid. Uh, and it sits at a very sensible price point, definitely worth checking out. There's going to be more information on our website, simplyscuba.com. There's going to be a link down in the description below to that. Thank you for watching, and of course, safe diving. <music>